What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to a brand new episode of Maximus the Fourth. What I have here are two old school mini cans of Coca Cola. Now, one of these is from Japan, and as you can see right there, that is writing clear as day. And then the other one is Dutch which I believe is from Holland, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Dutch. I think Dutch people live in Holland, so that is correct. Now, I won these two cans of old school Coca-Cola off of the same lot where I won the old school cherry coke and the old school cherry pepsi now because of that i had this really silly idea in my head and before i tell you guys my idea let me give you guys a really random silly fact back in the 70s it was basically known as the drug revolution cocaine was super big and heroin probably was too Probably other things like shrooms, LSD, and molly. I mean, it was a messed up time in the 70s. You had teenage kids, probably some kids that were even 12 years old or younger, that were into drugs. And it's because the 70s, like I said, it was the drug revolution. When everyone was finding out about it, it was cool, it's what you did, it didn't matter. And... I've even heard rumors so far back from a guy that went by the name of Mark, I won't say his last name, just to protect him, but he did tell me that in the 70s, I think he said the 70s, they actually spiked Coca-Cola with cocaine. <clears throat> now, he also told me that that's why they called it Coke. The formatted legal name is Coca-Cola, as you guys all know, but right there it says Coke, which is supposedly supposed to be short for cocaine. See, it says the same thing right there. Now, my idea is this. The title of today's video is going to be this. Does old school Coca-Cola actually have cocaine inside of it? Well, there's only one way to find out, and as you guys know, I am a very wholesome Christian man, and I do not do drugs or alcohol. So this would be the only time ever to justifiably be able to experiment with this. While I've never done any hardcore drugs in my life, I never will. But will I feel something that I've never felt before? I'm a little bit nervous, but there's only way, one way to find out. Now, back on these cans, on at least the Dutch can, it says P. September 91, which might mean 1991. The other one says 3 March 93, I think. And then this one from Japan is unknown. So... I'm just going to be opening up these two cans, and I will try the old one first and let you guys know exactly what I think. And my goodness, that is an old school pull tab. So I can tell just by looking at this can right here from Holland, which is a Dutch can. This is probably either in the 80s or the 70s, one of the two. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, I so feel like the LA Beast right now. I just freaking pulled a 70s or 80s pull tab off of a Coca-Cola bottle. Now let's try this thing and see what it tastes like. It 
So in my last video that's currently uploading right now, where I did the taste test of does wild cherry Pepsi taste like Pepsi wild cherry, this tastes similar to that old school 20 year old 2003 wild cherry Pepsi. And all it really comes down to is just the sugar is rotten. Am I feeling any crazy high effects like I'm on cocaine? No, I'm not. And I didn't think I would. Rumors are rumors, man. You know, you got to dig in deep to figure these things out for yourself. Let's at least try dumping this in the ice. See what that tastes like. Okay, yeah, it just has that generic rotten sugar taste, just like a cherry cola slice does, and a wild cherry Pepsi, and even cherry Pepsi. So, the Dutch can, there's no drugs in that, thank God. Now, let's try this Japanese can and see what we can find here. Get a good look at that, viewers, before I open this. Now this one, I'm pretty sure this is either in the late 80s or probably 90s. You can tell by looking at the tab that it's it, it's definitely more of a more of a modern day can than not. But the way that layout is designed with the the with the uh, push in tab, it definitely looks much older. So here we go. Whoa! Oh, that one exploded on me. Oh my gosh. That was exciting. Holy crap. That one has a lot more fizz in it, as you can clearly see. So the Japanese can, it tasted just a little bit better than the Dutch can, but it still was more of a, had a rotten taste. And I promise you guys, this is not going to hurt my health because I don't drink these every day. It's just an experiment, but it did taste more fresh than the Dutch can. And I feel like even if this was brand new that it might taste different. Well, no, that's not true. I'm trying to make myself believe into something that's not true. So yeah, it's still, the sugar's still rotten, but it's just not as bad as the one from Dutch. Now, let's open up a brand new Coca-Cola of today from 2023 and give this a taste test. Oh boy. Good old Coca-Cola. Now what's weird is that this Coca-Cola, the taste of it is a little bit off-putting, and I think it's just because of those, these old ones that I've drank. I definitely have more sugar in my system now. And 
<clears throat> it's not quite the same. However, it is Coca-Cola, and it would taste amazing, delicious, and refreshing if it was not, if I didn't have prior drinks in me. Now, before I end this video, you guys, <clears throat> to give you something interesting, a really fun and interesting fact about Coca-Cola itself is that... <laughs> There's something about Coca-Cola that's in it, the ingredients. It tastes so amazingly good. And it can actually be used to fight depression because it tastes so good. And I'm not even lying about that. My grandmother, I believe this was, I want to say 11 years ago, when her mom died, she was so depressed, my great-grandmother, when she passed away. That she went to her doctor and she didn't know what to do. The doctor, a male doctor I believe, recommended to her to drink some coke. Because it tastes amazing and it actually can help fight depression. And what I can tell you guys is that I've actually been in a place in my life where I have, when I was 21 years old, I had this experience that just, ugh. It just ate me up. My heart was just in a very shattered place. I mean, we all go through heartache at one point or, or another. I'm sure my wife has had her heart broken at one point or another. Um, <clears throat> you know, people like my mom, my dad, I know he's gone through heartache, my brother. So we all have, you know. But... What I can tell you is that when I was going through that hard time, I drank some Coca-Cola with my twin brother, Parker Goodwin, and I was watching Street Fighter 2, which is an old video game that they made for the Super Nintendo, and they made an anime cartoon out of it, and I felt like invincible just drinking Coca-Cola with my brother and watching Street Fighter 2, the animated, the anime cartoon. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. So off of prior experience of my own, Coca-Cola indeed does help fight depression. So if you are depressed and you're having a hard time, always make sure you put Jesus at number one in your life and pray every single day. Read your Bible and pray every single day. Go to church. But if you do need something to help you along the way, try some Coke. It will help you out. All right, guys, that's it. That was the end of the video. At the end of the day, does old school Coca-Cola have cocaine inside of it? No, it does not. That is just a rumor, and I do not know how true that could be, but my personal experiment with these cans that one might be from the 80s, one might be from the 90s, I don't know. But I say no, there is no cocaine in old school Coke. Thank you guys for watching. Maximus the Fourth here signing out. I will see you next time.